Believe it or not, don't underestimate a lot of this type of stuff. I'm looking for concert shirts. I'm looking for dead shirts. Yolanda Wentworth China. I don't know, I'm gonna set this aside. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, it is I, your captain, speaking. We are here at my store. It's evening and I kind of got my second wind going and I just want to finish up this storage unit. So we're going to start going through here and we are going to see what we got. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We have jackets. All right. These are looking like Alameda jackets. Oh, Outlayer. That is a nice one. Flashlight, that was gonna be a, a, a wad of Hunskies. That doesn't seem too special. Figaro Alpaca, that is a nice scarf right there. Believe it or not, don't underestimate a lot of this type of stuff. This jacket right here looks like an easy $20. Looks almost Native American made, but I can't pinpoint that. Blanket, another peacoat. I have plenty of peacoats, so unless they're special. Luxina. We did find that one fancy one. What was it called? Christian to Christian to Christian Dior. All right, there we go. All right, some cool tank tops. These are going to be kind of cool for the Alameda market, to be honest. I know everybody's like, why are you say Alameda too much? Well, I know every channel has their own way and their own things to do and things. And for me, look at that Stella Blue. The Alameda has become my spot for my money. To tots and the toots and the may may towels. I do make money in other markets. Don't get me wrong But that's the one where I bring my big bucks in and you got to run everything one time through it Doc greens 2009 California Berkeley. These are not quite vintage, but they're trendy. I'm looking for concert shirts I'm looking for dead shirts. I'm looking for things like this a lot of women like the stuff that let the, lets the girls hang out a lot these days I've been noticing that trend. I've been noticing that trend that's kind of nice, especially at that market. It's like, I don't know, kind of weird. Lose with the truth. Gildan, loose with the truth. That could be something. Here we go. I knew there had to be one somewhere. Dead ease. Ease your face. Your face, sucker. Who do you think you're talking to? Talking to me like that, son? A lot of tie-dye. Okay, Turk the Tom into Vegetational. I wouldn't say we're speed unboxing, but we are trying to wrap this up and make this not have to be done again. We'll be done with this unit here, hopefully. Funkadelic, that's all right. I just, that Jess would probably, uh, you guys have seen, I don't, I'm not good at picking out what she likes, so let's just shut her mouth. She might not like none of these, so this is her size. She's a, li she's a little one. I try to give her the carte blanche when she's here to the film. Like, I know everybody's like, they want to see Pirate Film and 2, and you want to see this, you want to see Uncle Mike. But we're just coming. I, she gets the actual kick off looking through the stuff. She wants to find a treasure. She's she's destined to be the one to find the best treasure. And I appreciate that about her. So I have, like, no problem just sitting back and watching, letting her be the, the, the center of attention when she comes down. All right, that was a... That one's kind of kind of cool. So all this, all, this is what this whole job is about. Just taking your treasure, looking around, sorting it. Um, all right, we got looking like products, looking like all the stuff that if I brought home, just like the girls don't need anything else. Like I always bring heck of stuff home for the girls. Look at those little stamps. Forever, I've been saving stamps, and every now and then I will put them up on. One of those auctions. John Lennon, that's tight. I'm digging that. We don't love them from John Lennon. John Lennon. We have more stamps. Always good to find stamps because they're at least worth the money. No. Nope. All this crap and stuff. Just breathe. Okay. This must have went into something. It's all just like lettering and stickers and doodads and hoo has Got some studio ink. Yeah. So that was cool. There was nothing too exciting in there. Gray Lily. Sounds fancy. Let's see what that is. Yolanda Wentworth China. Got a Gray Lily on it. And it looks like it's a whole set of this. I'd, China's not the best seller for me. Some can make money, some can't, but I guess the only thing I could think of doing is taking this to, you know it, comment below if you know where I'm gonna take this. 
I don't think this is a very valuable set. China could be multiple levels, and I think this is probably a $40, $50 sale for me in my world. This is almost dibs worthy, but we have so many cups. So many cups from the last locker. And this is just a little potpourri of kitchen things. Probably the kitchen around the office. Okay. Lock. Wow, we've made it here. We've made it here, guys. We made it here. The last box in this storage unit. What is this? Lucky brand. Looks like a lot of just crafting almost type things. Little yarns and strings. Linens and things. Okay. Heavy smell. Coconut oil. Coconut butter. Cocoa butter. Unrefined organic and fair trade. I don't know if that's shea butter unrefined. I don't know if that's original or what well, it is. That's crispy. Look at that. That's a cool thing. A purple string. Made in USA. I'm gonna set this aside because I can see this being possibly. What do you guys think? Purple string? Last box. What's in the last box? What's in the last box? Dryer. You know what we got in here? We got the dryer. Can I show this on my TV? Oh, this These are really genuine herbs. Okay, what do we got here? We got castor oil for versatile skincare. We've got sage. Hmm. I'm gonna have no idea about all this stuff. We got some saffron or something. Wax. Jasmine vitamin E. Rose petal grapeseed oil. Whoa. Look at all of these. Essential oils, eucalyptus. We got ancient waters, pink salt of the Himalayans, more sage. I don't even know. This is wicked and it smells in here pretty intensely. I don't even know if I should be smelling. Maybe I'm getting better now. Schoolip tincture, fresh plant, full moon press. I don't know if that makes a difference. I'm going to see some witches. Witch's tail or something here. What's this? Elderberry, lemon, clove, and briscous brandy. The stuff is just packed in here. More sage? What is this? I have no idea what that is. Coconut oil? Mm. Wicked stuff here. Wicked stuff. Some type of... Somebody once told me the world was full of marshmallow root. Okay, I've never seen that. This is some shrimp, whatever all this stuff is and for. I don't know, I'm gonna set this aside. I think that this is like something cool. I'm gonna let the woman look for little smelly oils and stuff like that. Cause uh, I think she's gonna like that. Roll balls and lids for jars, okay. type of purple vials. I don't know what all those are. Is that what goes in here? Then you put the roller balls on and you make tinctures? I have no idea what any of this stuff does. It is, it is, it is. What it is. We got much more to come. Uh, I'm just gonna go home, take a quick break, and we're gonna be right here back tomorrow morning. We're gonna be going through this $1,400 storage.